Okay, in this short activity, we are going to terminate a compression F type connector onto a coaxial cable, uh, which is RG6U. This is what the RG6U cable, coaxial cable, looks like. Uh, and this is the uh, most common cable that you would see in your residential or commercial setting, uh, mostly used for uh, providing an internet connection into your housing. Okay, so uh, RG6U, uh, you can tell that this is RG6U just by touching it, but, um, or just looking at it, but I'm just going to show you the little designation right on, uh, on the cable here. So it says RG6U. Now, what does that U stand for? Uh, can you tell me what the U stands for? I'll tell you, the U stands for UV rated, ultraviolet rated, which means this cable can be installed outside and exposed to the sun. All right, uh, all right. so uh, as I said, uh, we're going to te terminate F connector and its compression type connector. Uh, there are many different types of connectors uh, that involve uh, coaxial cable. Some of them uh, would be uh, just the one that we uh, see here. I just have one terminated. Uh, where is the uh, view here? Okay, let's see. Focus. So that's what uh, that's what this thing looks like. Yeah. That's the that's an F connector, male connector. You can tell that this is a male connector because it has the thread on the inside of the connector. All right. Now some of the other ones that I happen to have here would be just a, a crimp connector, which is uh, this type. And this one here we just uh, put on uh, onto the cable, just like that. And uh, we use the crimping tool just to squeeze the outside of the connector. Now this one here, the compression connector, it, uh, it involves just compressing the connector right onto itself. Uh, so basically it just goes lengthwise. It just gets shortened, all right? so. Uh, so now you see this looks like uh, this is what it looks like um, before and after. Uh, here, all right. Uh, focus, focus. Okay, this is uh, before the compression connector is compressed, and this is after it becomes shorter. All right. So we're just going to go through the motions of doing that. This is going to be a quick, quick demo uh, here. And this is what you're going to do as the second part of the lab today because uh, it's, a, it's a short activity. So first, uh, in this lab, we're going to do the uh, patch panel uh, involving CAT5E, and the second part of it is going to be this uh, compression connector uh, onto the RG6U cable. All right, so here we go. Uh, first, we're going to prep the cable, and it's a very short activity. Basically, we're just going to make sure that we have a clean cut here, and I'm just going to reshape this ending back to the round shape. So I'm going to just show you again on the close-up view. All right, uh, so uh, here, excuse me. All right, so basically we're just going to uh, cut the cable. Here, cut the cable. And now you see after cutting the cable, this becomes a little bit oval shape. So all I'm just going to do is uh, I'm just going to get this uh, uh, side cutters just to reshape it back into the round shape. Okay. Now we're going to get the stripper. A stripper looks like this. Cable stripper. Different type. There are different types of strippers, but this one looks like this, uh, and uh, this is what we're going to use. Now stripper here. I'm going to open that. And I just purposely left a little bit of. Uh, the previous uh, uh, cut of the cable here. So first I'm just going to clean it off and quite often we just uh, just shake it off. All right, there we go. All right, gone. All right. Now this crimper has two knives. You see, there are a couple of knives there. And the crimper, the uh, uh, stripper and it has the uh, stopper on the other side. So we're going to insert the cable from this side until the end of the cable reaches the stopper. All right, so this is how we do that. I'm gonna get a piece of paper. You know what, I'm just gonna cut this uh, so it, uh, so 
So we'll just have a piece of that. Uh, all right, so we're just gonna, we have a short piece of cable just like that. That's all we need for this lab, just to demonstrate the uh, installation of the F connector, all right? Okay, so just make sure that uh, there's no any debris from the previous uh, activity on this uh, inside the stripper. And I'm just going to insert that right until it reaches the stop and putting it right in the groove right here. Right. So here, and it reached the stopper right there. That's as far as we're going to go. And we're going to let it close by itself. So first, we're going to just squeeze that to open the jaws. And once the jaws are open, insert that. And we are going to uh, just put this thing right here and close just let it go so it closes right onto itself all right so now basically that's what we want all right so here it is once this thing is uh once the jaws are closed and the cable is being held one of the knives is going to cut deeper into the insulation and is going to cut through the braiding and the other one is going to cut not so deep into it all right so uh, after this thing is just holds by itself all right all we have to do is just hold the cable like that and just spin it around a few times all right a few times to the right a few times to the left for, for back and forth a little bit uh, after this uh, the, the cut is complete uh, this should just kind of dangle on its own all right so now after that we're going to grab that squeeze just a little bit all right just so we have a firm grip on it so we're going to squeeze it and pull it off while we squeeze it all right so there we go now we have this cable stripped i'm going to put this stripper away let's see what we have here uh yes we do have a nicely stripped cable now we're gonna have to make sure that nothing none of the braiding here is wrapped around the center conductor all right just uh usually it doesn't uh, usually it's not happening but just to take a, just to take a quick look uh, see under microscope you're not gonna have a microscope but uh, I'll look at that you see what did I say part of the we I, I'm so glad this thing has happened because what happens if this part of the braiding uh, wraps uh, wraps itself around the center conductor we're going to have a short so this cable is going to be no good all right so we just have to make sure that none of that is happening so uh, in this case I'm just going to just uh, clean it off just a little bit maybe with my fingers just to make sure that nothing is nothing is wrapped nothing is wrapped around here now this uh, the stripper that I grabbed is not making any you know a clean cut here so hopefully the other ones that we have in the class are going to make a better cut so now the braiding is not oh well, still there's some braiding there um, that is ra wrapped around here okay. just gonna have to make sure that nothing is wrapped around okay now after we have made sure that nothing is wrapped around uh, not none of the braiding wraps itself around the center conductor uh, we're going to insert the compression connector right onto the cable and basically just put it in until the insulation uh, the the PVC insulation reaches the bottom of the connector so here's the connector here's the compression connector and here is the bottom of the barrel right there see here I'm going to tap it with the screwdriver that's the bottom of the barrel so this part here this uh, um, uh, this should be a nice uh, cleaner cut this stripper doesn't make any cleaner cut here yeah, I should have coupled them just to, to have uh, both but uh, let's just uh, let's just pretend this is a clean cut all right uh, so <coughs> uh, so now we're going to insert this um, we're going to insert this connector until the insulate the top of the insulation reaches the bottom of the barrel here right. uh, so let's do it all right 
that's the inside of the connector it has kind of a tubular inner tubing metal tubing there so that uh, inner tubing goes between the braiding and the jacketing there right. so now this braiding is going to make contact with the outside of the connector and of course the center conductor is going to be right in the center right so we just have to make sure that the center conductor pops through all right so let's just go back and forth motion now if this gives you a hard uh, this actually went nice and easy by itself if uh, it gives you a hard time or if uh, you are going to have to do like 200 of those then of course your fingers are going to hurt because you're going to uh, put all of those connectors force them onto the onto the cable so you can use something like called a third hand that uh, basically that uh, screws on to the uh, connector like that and that gives you a better grip so you can hold it and do it like easier all right and then you just undo it and check it all right so now what we can see is we have that uh, that insulation the insulator flush with the bottom of the barrel of this connector and we can see that none of the braiding is wrapped around the center conductor okay now we're almost done here okay? uh, so now we're going to grab the crimper and it just looks like this now there, there are various crimpers as well some of them uh, uh, have the uh, a bigger crimping head and they have uh, handles just like the side cutters and some of these uh, by ideal these are actually pretty good same as the uh, same as the uh, rg45 crimpers i just love them okay I'm not affiliated with them whatsoever at least for now uh, but uh, but i'm just you know uh, since i ever since i laid my hands on on some of those they're nice compact uh, and you can just just don't, don't take too much space and they're not too heavy to carry around anyways uh, all right, but I don't want to start advertising it. Okay, so here is what the, comp uh, the compression crimper looks like. You can open the jaws and see here's the bit of a piston going up and down there, back and forth. And that's what is going to push the connector right into itself. So here is going to load the crimper. All right, so see, here's the piston that goes and here's the stopper. So we're going to just insert the sender conductor is going to go into the hollow opening of that piston. All right. There's a hollow opening there and that is going to accommodate that sender conductor. So that is going to go right in there and we're going to do it under an angle just like that. Yeah, there we go. Looking at the camera here. Yeah, there we go. All right. And then we're going to prop the back of the connector against that stopper, just like that. All right. Here's that stopper. Right. So it just snaps right onto itself. And then all we have to do is close the jaws. Look what's going to happen with the crimp, uh, with the connector. I'm just going to get the focus here on the camera. Uh, all right, so as I close the jaws, look what happens. The connector is going to basically compress right onto itself. There you go, see? I'm closing the jaws. All right, now the, com the connector just became shorter because it's compressed right onto itself. All right, and then we're going to release the jaws and unload the crimper, and we have the connection done. All right. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to get one fresh connector here. This is before and after. This is what the connector looks like before it was compressed, right here. And this is what the connector looks like after it is compressed. Right. Becomes shorter. The sender conductor sticks around, sticks out just enough. And the length of that is basically determined by the stopper that when, when, the, when we have inserted that, uh, here's the stopper here. Uh, so we don't have to measure anything, just this is, this is a wonderful stripper here. Uh, so then uh, this uh, is going to give us the proper length of the center conductor. 
So now uh, what we're going to do is we're going to have to take a picture of the uh, of the uh, of our work. So there's only one picture, one table for this one, uh, only one picture. And I just want you to kind of take a picture just like that. Okay? Yeah, my fingernails. <laughs> All right. So I want to see that uh, there's a compression connector installed onto the cable. And I want to see that the there's nothing wrapped around the center conductor. And I want to see that the insulator end is flush with the bottom of the barrel right here of this conduct, uh, connector. Right? And that's the picture you're going to take. And uh, remember, this is a different uh, work order that we're going to use for as a lab report. Um, and there are a couple, there are a few questions uh, to be, a uh, couple of questions to be answered. Uh, so of course, the it's a, uh, first uh, I'm going to give it to you free. It's the question: uh, What type of a cable? It's a um, <laughs> it's a coaxial cable RG6U. That's the connect. That's the cable that we're using. And do you remember what the U stands for? The U stands for UV rated. That means it's ultraviolet, ultraviolet resistant. Which means that this cable can be installed outside, exposed to the elements, uh, and the sun is not going to cause a damage to that. So this cable can be installed outside with the U. Without the U, this cable is going to just basically almost dissolve into some kind of a spongy looking uh, uh, nothing uh, within a year. Right? Uh, okay, so that's the, um, uh, okay, the other questions uh, have to do, just think about it. Uh, I'm going to ask you for the resistance, not the impedance. I'm going to also ask you for the impedance in those questions. So I mean the characteristic impedance. So I'm going to have to recall what the characteristic impedance of coaxial cable is. Uh, and uh, you're going to have to recall of what the characteristic impedance of RG6 is. And this is from our previous lectures. Um, now, uh, also, I'm going to ask you for the resistance. And now, for those questions, you do not need an ohmmeter to find out what the resistance is going to be. It's either going to be infinite resistance or it's going to be a zero ohm resistance. Okay. Now, do not write the word nothing. So let's say if if you if you if you plug in uh, or if you connect an you know, ohmmeter to the outside of the connector, and remember the outside of the connector is, make, make, is making a physical connection with the braiding, okay, with the outer conductor of this coaxial cable. So here it is, and then there is the uh, inner conductor, and they are inside. There's one. There's inside each other. That means that's, it, that, well, that's what makes it a like concentric cable or coaxial cable because they share the same axes. Right? So, um, uh, so, and then one of the conductor, one end of the conductor goes all the way to the other side, not touching anything. Right? So what's going to happen if you have something like a short piece of cable and if you connect an ohmmeter between one end of the center conductor and the other end of the center conductor? Are you going to have zero ohms resistance or are you going to have infinite resistance? Right. Do not write the word nothing. Right. Please do not write the word nothing. Nothing is a not allowed word in this. Um, so <coughs> then if you connect the ohm meter between the outside outer part of the connector and another outer part of the connector if there was one there, what are you going to get? What kind of resistance are you going to get? I'm not talking impedance, I'm talking just a physical resistance. And what are you going to get for resistance if you connect an ohmmeter between the center conductor and the outer part of the connector? Okay. So uh, what kind of a resistance are you going to get? Don't need, just by understanding how this thing is built, and there's not much to it, uh, you do not need the ohmmeter just to sort of deduct, of, uh, deduct what this thing should be. Okay, so uh, yeah, this is a short demo on how to uh, terminate a um, um, F-type connector. Now, if you want to know what uh, 
Uh, what diff other different types of connectors that are involved that are involved with coaxial cable? Talk to me during the lab, and I'll show you. All right, but uh, this th this is just an F type of connector. Just it's an F type connector that is terminated onto a coaxial cable, which is the RG6U, and it is a compression connector as opposed to crimp connector. Okay, see you in class.